So many people eat meat and dairy every day of their lives, and we are so concerned about getting enough protein. Do we have to eat meat to get complete protein? Oh my God, oh my God. You want me to jump off this building, don't you? <laughs> well, first of all, all protein is made by plants. I'll state that again for the record. All protein is initially made by plants, all of it. And it is not necessary to eat animal tissue in order to get protein. Only plants have the ability to actually take nitrogen from the air, break those molecules apart, and incorporate that nitrogen into amino acids and then make protein. Any protein you get from an animal is simply recycled plant protein. If you ate a diet that was calorically adequate and even things like brown rice and broccoli and you got enough of it, you'd get enough both quantity and quality of protein. 2,000 calories of brown rice and broccoli is going to be about 80 grams of protein a day, including the essential amino acids that you need in order to maintain optimum health. I mean, grains are loaded with protein. Beans are loaded with protein. Vegetables are loaded with protein. You really want to get your protein from plants because plant proteins have a much more beneficial effect on our physiology. The funny thing about protein is most Americans get about twice the amount they need. Most Americans get less than half the amount of fiber they need. But the conversation tends to always be about protein. So in my mind, it's just this magical marketing campaign that protein has taken on over the decades. The question is not where do you get your protein, it's where do you get your fiber? I have never in my professional career seen a protein deficiency. I've never seen someone come in eating normal amounts of calories and they're protein deficient. You just don't see that. So human milk has the lowest protein content ever in any species ever tested. I mean, that's the fluid that's been designed by evolution over millions of years. And that's just like the perfect food for human babies, right? Perfect food, lowest protein content, any other mammal. And so it gives a sense of uh, kind of protein it's requirements for food. Anything. So than, like, even then even rat milk, ape milk, really? donkey milk, any milk has ever been tested. And you hear this a lot in bodybuilders. They're like, well, I need, you know, uh, chicken or I need fish to be, you know, to be strong, to build muscle tissue. That is utter nonsense. The largest, strongest terrestrial animals on the planet are all herbivores. The biggest, strongest animals are all herbivores. When we bring in people and they're on meaty diets and we transition them to a plant-based diet, we always track what they're eating. Their vitamin intake goes up. Their nutrition overall goes up dramatically better. And these same people might worry in advance, will I get the nutrition that I need on a plant-based diet? The fact is, you're not getting the nutrition you need on a meat-based diet and you're gonna get dramatically better nutrition on a plant-based diet. For an average-sized guy like myself, I need about 56 grams of protein a day. That's optimum. Probably I really need 30 to 40 grams a day. Diets that are really high in these protein create diabetes, create heart disease, create cancer, create the diseases that, that I'm treating on a daily basis.